very popular exercise we see a lot in our algebra class is uh, something like this. They say find all the values of x such that f of x equals some constant like we have equals 6 where, and then they'll provide you with a, a quadratic function like x squared minus 5x minus 8 like we have here. Now there is a way to solve this by hand but I'm going to show you a neat way to solve these types of problems using your calculator in this video. So if we were going to solve it by hand we're trying to find x's such that if you plug the, the values of x in for the in, into the quadratic function, the outcome, the answer, the y value would be 6. So what we would do is we would take x squared minus 5x minus um, 8 and set it equal to 6 because this is like asking a question. What x's make this equal 6? And then off you go to solve it and you would get your, your answers. We'd set the quadratic equal to zero and, and all those good things. But there's a neat way to solve this on the calculator. And so let's let's look at how we would do this. All right, as as we well know, a quadratic function, the shape of its graph is called a parabola. A parabola is a, a U-shaped graph like this. And then if we look at this equation, f of x equals six or y equals 6, this would be a horizontal line. Uh, you remember in our earlier videos, much earlier in the class, we talked about uh, uh, horizontal lines and vertical lines. And if you have y equals a constant, it's a horizontal line where y is always 6. Now, just looking at this picture, it, it might start to become clear to you what we're looking for. If we're looking for the values of x that make the quadratic equal 6, Look on the graph right here. Can you see where the quadratic function would equal 6? Well, hopefully you're looking like right here and right here. Those are the two places where the quadratic function would have a y value of 6. And on our calculator, we can find places where two functions intersect one another. Uh, it's a built-in operation into our graphing calculator. So let's get out our graphing calculators and I'll show you how to do this real quick. Okay. So um, what we'll do first is we'll go to y equals and we'll, we'll graph two functions. We'll graph x squared minus 5x minus 8. That's our parabola. And then we'll also graph y equals 6. And so when we graph these two guys, we'll get uh, one that's a parabola and then one that's a straight line. You might have to adjust your viewing window, the x min, x max, y min, and y max so that you can see it a little bit better, but um, I've already gone ahead and adjusted my window here. And so here, here it is. And so here's where you go to find the intersection of two functions. You push second calc, second calc. And then if you scroll down, you'll see number five says intersect. And that guy right there will tell you where the two curves intersect. So we'll choose intersect. And then it will say, is this okay for your first curve? We'll say yes, push enter. They'll say, is this okay for your second curve? We'll say yes, we'll push enter. And then give it a guess. And the reason it needs a guess is it's only going to give you one at a time. It wants to know, do you want this one or this one? So let's just scroll a little bit to the left. And then we'll push enter. And then it will tell us the intersection happens at negative 2 comma 6. Now I didn't even need to know the y value. I knew the y value was going to be 6. That's, that's what the whole problem means. Uh, but the intersection happens when x is negative 2. So when we go back to our original problem, when they say find all x values such that f of x equals 6, well for your solutions, one of them will be at negative 2. And then we can go back and we'll repeat the same thing again. Second calc, intersect, uh, first curve, second curve. And then this time for our guess, go over to the right intersection point. It's probably close enough. Push enter. And they'll say the intersection is at 7 comma 6. So again, the x value is 7. And so we can obviously go back and check both of these answers right here. I, I don't think I'm going to do it in this video, but for this quadratic right here, if you took f of negative 2 or you took f of 7, either one of those would give you a y value of 6. 
and they're the only x values that would do that. So it's just a, a neat little use of the calculator where you graph not only the quadratic but the constant function 6 and then use the intersect feature on your calculator to find the solution.